I've got two large onions, three carrots, three sticks of celery, a bunch of parsley, which I've just tied together with a little bit of string there, some peppercorns and a bay leaf. So we're gonna begin by chopping our vegetables and I've got a few really good tips for you here. Before we start, make sure you take a tea towel and you pop it flat onto your workstation and the board on top of the tea towel. That's gonna stop it moving around. It's gonna make it much safer. The next thing we're gonna do is take our onion from the root to the seed head. We chop through our onion and there you can see we've still got the root intact and the seed head. So here we go, that seed head is gonna come off there. And now we can peel our onion. And you make a judgment call as to how many layers you need to take off. And if we're looking for a fine chop, the first incision we're gonna make is actually parallel to the board and we're just going to cut in there now we turn 90 degrees and we now make incisions through the onion how far apart these incisions are will dictate how fine the chop is on your onion so we're going to hold the onion with our little finger and our thumb and we're going to curl over our top three fingers so we don't cut them off there and so one motion down and forward will slice our onion evenly. Make sure that you're drawing your fingers back as you cut through the onion. Whenever you have a vegetable which is a little bit round and runs the risk of rolling, like we do with a carrot, again, that could make it difficult to chop and can actually make it dangerous. So your first cut with your chef's knife is straight down the middle like that and that means that your carrot will sit nicely flat on the board and it won't roll around cut them into matchsticks quite thick is fine turn it 90 degrees point of the knife down and the heel of the knife raised and one nice easy chopping motion down and forward The celery, very much the same idea. So we're just gonna cut them in half first, cut them into strips like that, just like the carrot, 90 degrees, and that nice rolling motion down and forward, drawing your fingers back as you chop. We have our carrots, onions, and celery nicely chopped. And I've got my pan onto a low to medium heat here. And I'm just gonna add in a good glug of some vegetable or sunflower oil. My onions, there, and my carrots, and my celery. And the idea here is that we're gonna bring some color and we're gonna soften our vegetables before we put the water in. Take a nice spatula or wooden spoon and give it a stir. And so now our vegetables have been frying off for about 10 to 15 minutes and they've taken on a much darker color. They've reduced slightly. It's smelling delicious. And if you take the time here to really bring some color, the depth of flavor in your stock and then in your dishes will be so much better. And so I'm just going to add in our bay leaf here and our peppercorns and also our parsley or bouquet garnier. That goes in. And now what we've got to do is top it up with four liters of water. Nice big sizzle there. 
So that's our water in and I'm now going to leave it on a medium heat and just allow it to simmer and reduce down by about half and that's going to give us a really nice flavoursome stock. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Just take your tea towel very carefully watching the steam. And there is our beautiful vegetable stock ready to be used. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that little bell to turn on notifications.